Very good, my friends. Have you seen these videos where there is something electronic that is rotating in a plate? Very cool, very nice. Today we are going to boil one of these ones the easiest way possible. For that we are going to use a motor that I'm going to take from a CD reader and then we just need some wood and some plastic and a power supply. That's all. And we are going to create a rotatory basement to improve the quality of our videos and we are going to put it on test. You can see now in the screen how this is working in the final project. So cool, huh? So super cheap, super easy. Let's go! Here I have a motor that I have extracted from a CD reader some years ago. It's working. First we are going to find a piece of wood of this size and we are going to drill a hole the size of the motor. Okay, this one will be nice. This piece of wood I have here is just perfect size. Hey, let's make the hole! Okay, let's make now a small hole for the cables. Okay, let's prepare the cables. Now we can pass the cable through the hole. Okay, let's solder the cables to the motor. A little bit of this will help us. Well, not the best soldering skills, but maybe works. Let's try. Looks like it's working. Now my favorite tool, the silicone pistol. We're going to put some hot silicone. Okay, here we have the piece of plastic. We are going to try to drill a hole in the middle of the piece. Whoa, too fast. Let's try to reduce the voltage. Too fast. Man, you are going too fast. 0 0.7 volts. Let's make it more slow. No! the fine tune for this to work properly now is too fast stop let's try with 0 0.3 poles whoa 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 out oh nice there perfect a bit too fast We are going to need to add some gears here to make this to rotate properly as slow because now it's 
to first. Okay, the head of the nail is removed now. We can put our plastic piece here. Okay, some hot glue there. And now let's place this piece. Okay, still been very fast. We are going to need to change the strategy completely. We are going to use a step-by-step -step motor. You can take a look to the car to see how to configure and program this motor. Here we have a 5 volt USB battery to supply energy to the Arduino. Then we have the power supply that is supplying 5 volts to the step-by-step -step motor. And here we have the power circuit that is going to control the motor. expecting I just had to start with the step motor. Now you can go to the video of the step motor to see how to program, how to prepare this motor to work. You will find the car here. I was trying to make it as simple as possible because now I had to add a lot of electronic components that I didn't want to add but it seems it's the only easy way to do it so finally I had to add a lot of uh, electric components. I hope this video has been useful for you. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video. Thank you for watching and see you in next video. Bye.